They say hell hath no fury like a woman left scorn. And oh boy, they couldn't be more right. You see, I felt this way for a long time. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm in love. I've been in love for a few years now, four to be exact. It's this boy in my class, Toby. He's been in my class for the last four years, as you may have guessed. I guess you could say it was love at first sight. He had this beautiful hair, long and black with blonde streaks you could only see in certain lighting. The most striking part of his appearance were his eyes. He had the most piercing blue eyes you've ever seen. That first day I saw him, I knew I had to have him all to myself. I asked him later that day what he'd be doing after school. He said he had choir practice. I invited him to every birthday party I had for four years, every time he bailed. I even tried joining choir, but he quit two months after. After that, I knew I had to do something. I knew that he walked home after school every day, so I watched him. I would always follow about six feet behind, give or take. <laughs> I was never good with math. After a while, I needed more. I needed physical contact. At first, I started with simple accidental bumps in the hallway, but I needed more. But then a new boy came to town, Ross. He liked me, and I liked him. We dated for a while, but nobody could ever beat Toby. But then something happened. Ross proposed. I didn't know what to say, so I just said yes. I didn't want to, but I did. I later became pregnant with his baby. I thought maybe I could be happy without Toby. But then I saw him in a Facebook post. He was with this woman, and he was holding a baby. I noticed something else. The ring on her finger. I decided I'd look her up. I had her name since she was tagged in the post. So why not? It's amazing how much you can find by just looking up someone's name. Once I'd found her address, I decided I'd pay her and the baby a visit. God, you can't imagine what it's like to choke a slut's baby right in front of her very own eyes. After that, I thought I'd tell Toby the great news. I knew he was a heavy sleeper, so all I had to do was tie him up and throw him in my trunk. Of course, he did wake up once or twice, but lucky, luckily, I brought chloroform with me just in case that happened. I almost felt bad torturing him in my basement till dawn, but... Then again, he really shouldn't have cheated. Ross eventually found Toby due to the awful smell. It's a shame, really. Ross was a nice guy. But nobody was going between Toby and me. No one. Now, if you'll excuse me, the baby's crying. You wouldn't think a newborn baby would be so sensitive to the smell of a one-year-old rotting corpse. He's my soulmate. Now we'll be together. Forever.